Hi, I'm Mitigia Budra in Awunya. You're going to know Wabiku Marawa. Hello, friend. Good to see you today. I'm on a Wabiku country. Now, if you've watched a couple of my recent videos, in particular the uh, Page Formance one and the Wet Weather Camping one up at Wallaroo State Forest, you'll notice that I said in there a couple of times about it getting really hot inside the car. Now, when I did the makeover and everything, as I mentioned in those videos, I took all the in extra installation that I'd put in the roof of the car, uh, I'd taken all that out. And that was the silver backed. Uh, fiberglass stuff that you put in your household roofs and that I've got a bunch of it for nothing So I'll put that in the roof and I took all that out when I did the makeover and I think that's why it's been getting really hot in the car So today I'm gonna make new insulation for the roof. I've got a few little bits and pieces I'm gonna make some new insulation. I'm gonna give you guys a run-through of how I'm doing it So first thing you'll notice I've already ripped the roof liner out of the car. I'm leaving the original shitty looking insulation in there. I'm not touching that because Mitsubishi put that in there for a reason. Um, and at the end of the day, it doesn't hurt to have a bit of extra insulation. So what I'm doing is leaving that and I'm measuring out from the edges here all the way through, um, both sides, front, back. And I notice each one of these gets smaller and smaller. So I've got to measure each one individually. But I'm gonna measure them and I picked up some silver lined bubble wrap. So it's silver on one side and just normal bubble wrap on the other side. So what I'm planning with this is with this polystyrene sheeting that I have here, I've got a heap of that in the garage. With that, basically I'm gonna cut sections out to fit the roof liner. Uh, quickly try and show you the idea here. Line it up. Silver side up polystyrene and then I don't know but I've cut out at the moment to test going double layered so it'll be silver what I'm thinking is silver lined polystyrene silver lined and polystyrene so that then should reflect any heat back up off the silver lining and back out of the car hopefully that's the idea and then it gives a little bit of an air barrier uh, with the bubble wrap then it's got the polystyrene which we all know, you know this stuff's used inside your eskies and everything and it's a good insulator uh, so, yeah, we know this stuff will insulate. We know the silver lining will reflect the heat back. That's the idea of them. So, yeah, with the silver lining, the air barrier, and the polystyrene, it should hopefully do a really good job at insulating the roof of the car and keeping it a bit cooler. And all the little offcuts, you can see some on the floor here already. Um, another sheet here ready to go. But offcuts like that that I won't fit up actually in the roof properly, I'll cut them down later when I finally get back to rebuilding the drawer system properly. And I can actually put that down on the inside. Same deal with the bubble wrap and everything in there. So I can line that down in here, down in the sides here and that as well for additional insulation. I might even put some around the battery to keep that cool and down in that seat well and everything under there. So... You notice I've got the fridge out at the moment. We had an issue with some really bad weather and me just not driving the car for a week. So solar wasn't doing anything and it drained the lithium battery. Um, I think it was about five days basically with no driving the car and no solar. And that's how long it took for the fridge, the 30 litre draw fridge, to drain the 140 amp hour lithium. So yeah. Now I have to say, I'm not actually gluing these together. I'm just gonna tape them together because I don't have any spray adhesive or anything. And to be honest, I couldn't be bothered going by on it. So I'm just gonna run a bit of masking tape, a couple of spots around the edges just to hold them together. And then I'll use some gaffer tape to actually hold them up into the roof. Also means that it's easy to remove if I want to later on. So that's one sheet done. Now, again, I don't know if I'm gonna do be able to do double layer, it may end up too thick, but one layer is better than no layers. All right, there's the two put together. Let's move over to the car and see how it fits.
gonna be snug, but I think it might fit. I think it'll work. Alrighty, so we've got it all through. As you can see, got it in every layer. It's not sticking, holding the middle properly at times, but uh, once the roof line is in, hopefully that will help hold it up. But at the end of the day, look, I've done double layer towards the back of the car and only a single layer at the front. Uh, main reason is when I did the insulation in it before, I only had from here back, and I feel it made a fair difference. So having any here i'm hoping will make an even better difference but yeah not a lot and i haven't put any right at the front here because that's where the roof console and all that sort of thing goes and i think it's just going to be in the way uh now to put the roof liner back up see how it fits one is back in hey it's a bit of a job these bloody back ones i don't know why the screw holes never seem to friggin line up even without the insulation uh adding the insulation definitely has pushed it down Normally there's a bit of flex here, now it's solid as a rock. Still flex in the middle though. So not too bad. To be honest, to look at it, you wouldn't even know there was additional insulation in there, I don't think. I've always had this sag in the middle, so the little Velcro strips that are up in the roof never seem to work in this car. So yeah, all back up. You notice the roof console's not in yet. I might have a quick shot at trying to rebuild that. If not, I'll quickly slap it in, but... I need the car for early hours of tomorrow morning, so it depends how long that's taken me. Alright guys, that's it for this one. Do us a favour, drop a comment below. Let me know if you insulated your roof or any other parts of your car to try and keep it a little bit cooler. Um, I'm heading away for Easter on Thursday coming up. Uh, obviously, this has been aired well after Easter. Um, so yeah, hopefully it works well and we'll see how it goes from there. Alright guys, if you've liked it, please remember to leave a like. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Yamma Bujiri Murugu. Walk a good path. Yano, goodbye. And now I've got a mess to clean up. Yay!